these other ones that are going on. Um, there's also one here, Wedding Wings for Women, which is, um, you know, actually has more local searches and a higher CPC at just a little higher KC than what we just looked at for vintage wedding rings. So I'm going to click on that just to sort of see what I can deduce from, from doing this. And, you know, when you're first starting out, looking at this matrix and you know it's going to be very confusing and um, just know that I went through the same thing and the more you do this the more you're going to get used to it and there's a few things that stand out here um, and that is uh, just the relatively low number of juice page links that are pointing to each of these sites I mean 00 um, that, that's very low and that just shows you that you can potentially outrank a lot of these sites here which do have a lot of page links but they're not very um, authoritative the links that are pointing to those sites so if you get some good links coming to your site that's gonna that's gonna mean a lot um, the page authority is sort of all over the place here you got you know low 30s all the way up to 73 um, this top one might be something to be scared of and if you look and open up titles you're gonna see a lot more bold uh, bold lettering here uh, which is a sign that they are utilizing on page SEO quite a bit uh, the Moz rank is just sort of average, you know, some zeros, but mostly in the, the four, the five range. But then the page rank is relatively low. So again, this is a potential. And if, if you were totally into wedding rings for women and you know you could crush it, um, it might be worth getting into. Um, but it might be also worth trying to look for other keywords that may be in the mid-20s as far as Casey is concerned or might show you, um, and then it might be more obvious when you look at the data 